not in Kansas anymore. We must be over the rainbow. about to enter a new facet of talk radio you are tuning into the coolest show around be prepared to enter the cosmos as we are heard throughout the observable universe into the coolest of the cool the coolie cool show yes you're listening here live on the coolest of the cool the coolie cool show Yep, we rock it here from coast to coast, north to south, and yes, maybe even in Antarctica. And if you're in Antarctica, let us know what you're thinking. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to follow us and subscribe to us to our other social media platforms. You can follow me on my TikTok and YouTube channel, both labeled the cool cool show you can also follow me on my twitter account at cool equal 24 12 you can also follow me on my instagram page brent underscore the champ and also if you happen to miss any parts of this amazing interstellar intergalactic uh podcast you can pick up and leave off right here by subscribing to my other social media platforms, which I've come off, where you can just go to it, like iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spreaker.com, or Google Podcasts. Pick your poison. So we're going to get started in just a couple of seconds here, just fine-tuning everything, getting things all set up. Yep, you're listening here live on the coolest of the cool, the cooly cool show. Gonna get going in just a couple of seconds. Oh, here what the fuck is going on here i want to ask you a bunch of questions and i want to have them answered immediately 
Excuse me, I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. I have only one more question. Can someone tell me, who is your daddy and what does he do? Can someone tell me, who is my daddy and what does he do? Now please get your mother. You are now listening here to the coolest of the cool, the Cooly Cool Show. We are heard through the cosmos all the way out, intergalactic, and to the edge of the universe, to the observable universe. You are now here listening to the coolest of the cool, the Cooly Cool Show. Now, your host that exudes nothing but absolute coolness. Your host, without further ado, here is none other than. Here we go. Give a big round of applause to Brad. Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Here again. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Yes. So, hello, I'm Brent. Welcome to the Coolest of the Cool, the Cooly Cool Show. If this is your first time tuning in to here to the Coolest of the Cool, the Cooly Cool Show, I'm Brent. And here on our show, we like to talk about crazy things. <laughs> and if you're a returning listener of all two of my great listeners, love you. Um, so, thank you. For coming back and listening to some more of the coolie cool show. So we got a good topic of discussion. If you notice the title of it, the title is The Pipe Dream. Now, not the type of thing that you're kind of thinking if you have a sick, twisted mind. But I usually tend to say it as a phrase, living in a pipe dream. Now, the pipe dream along with the picture that I have illustrated up, is with some tickets. And if you know what it says from it, um, I got to pull it up. I can't really see it that well because my computer is acting really funny, but it might be. So um, it's the pipe dream and the ticket surrounding it. And it says always... In a theater near you. Okay. The pipe dream. Now. Um, if you don't know. What I meant by that. Or understanding. And I'm going to say it again. It's because. The pipe dream is a feigned fantasy. That many of us here. Dealing with what is going on. Around here in the world. And what information. The spread. The wealth of information. At our very tiptoes. At our very feet. Spreads like something that it's we just don't know. But with how it's spread, we take it in and we exhilarate ourselves with the bullshit. And don't disregard the bullshit. So, tons of people will take for what people say to, you know, a next level. And that is called, they're living in the pipe. They're all there. That's the pipe dream. Thinking something is true, but yet it's not. It's actually just a damn dream that's built up on feigned fantasies, though that somebody probably thinks is true, but in reality, it's just a fucking dream that is never going to be come to par. Sorry. Just not. So... I've touched a little bit about talking about certain topics on my other podcast about how certain things happen. I kind of went on a little tangent uh, on my Sunday night vibes talking about certain movies and roles and things of that nature. Uh, but, you know, um, I wanted to kick off by, you know, I, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, 
I hear country music now. I like certain country music. Um, and uh, not all country music, but I like certain types of country music. Now, I always listen to it, and it seems the country music, how they have things, they always tell a story while they're singing. You know, it's the like, you know, my baby, my baby, you know, they always talk. So I kind of figured I wanted to come up with a country song of my own for the title of this episode, you know, uh, The Pipe Dream. So we're going to, I'm going to try to do this in a country acapella type of thing and just kind of go off how I feel and make sure it comes to, you know, you know, to really feel it. You know what I'm saying? To try to under, get it, feel it on my, my chest and my heart, you know? So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this one's dedicated to all of you out there. And let me, let me put it this way. Let me go ahead and talk with my, the way I'm going to talk here. Because, uh, like I said, uh, I'm not making fun of country music, but I do love it because it's a sweet, sweet sound. And the way they talk is so subtle. And uh, they make you invested in every time they talk about you and make you feel good at home. You know, especially on that, uh, you know, that early Saturday mornings. So you go out in your park and you get that, you know, pack of Sixers. And you start drinking it and drink it down. Feeling real good about shit. So, this song is for every one of y'all that are noticing something a little different in the world, and uh, you just don't understand what's going on. But uh, you eventually find out that uh, some ain't right. It's that you've been lied to. That uh, you've been living in a pop dream. So, uh, I'm gonna start off with this little acapella of my things. I might stare off course a little bit, but uh, bear with me. And uh, we'll get through it together. Trust me. So uh, let me try to go through this. <clears throat> clear my throat out a little bit. Let's see. It's called Living in a Pop Dream. Well, there's so much I can tell you. How the world is so untrue. But we live our lives under one big lie. And that's all I can tell you. History is a big fucking lie. Asteroids don't come out of the sky. Aliens are such fucking assholes because they want to abduct the right ones. Blah, fucking blah, blah, fucking blah, blah. Let's fucking do it. Fuck yeah. So that's my rendition of my new single called Living in a Pop Dream. It's going to be coming out to record stores nearby far and why and uh be sure to look for it you know hell there used to be cd players back about 20 years ago but now there ain't none it's uh all on your fucking phones ladies and gentlemen so uh do a digital don't buy the fucking disc <laughs> so uh i hope you enjoyed my little uh song called living in a pipe dream uh it's pretty much it is um, a lot of stuff that we're told, it's a, hey, this is fucking true. It's really fucking not. It's actually a hand in a gin. It's with a lot of shit. But we take everything for what it is. So, um, for instance, you know, I talked a lot about the asteroids and uh, certain movies and stuff like that. I mean, think about it. Um, we don't even have to pay the price of admission to hear bullshit. I mean, Theoretically, you get fed the bullshit through the system of, you know, learning, growing up, and hearing certain things. Because guess what? If you go against the norm and go against the fucking regulations, then you're going to be casted as an outcast. Um, pretty much people are going to consider you as dumb, uneducated, you know, not intelligent. Because you're not willing to follow the program that they're trying to program your mind. You know, that's uh, pretty much like, think about it. You uh, learn about uh, Christopher Columbus and how they had a nice uh, Thanksgiving dinner. You know, he sailed the, the seven seas. He came across here to North America, landed here in America, met with the Indians. And then we built, like I said, they had a Thanksgiving dinner, the pilgrims and them. You know, he came over looking for spices, you know. Um, and, you know, then he just went on his fucking merry way. You know, but 
And I'll let you know later on when you actually delve into it that Christopher Columbus never actually set foot here in America. Never did. And, you know, they certainly left the fact that Christopher Columbus owned fucking slaves. They left that one out. Um, and in the same sense, they left out the fact that Christopher Columbus was a genocidal, freaking murdering, fucking crazy person. They left that one out. Um, yeah. It's a lot of shit. Oh, I forgot they, you know, failed to mention that, uh, you know, Christopher Columbus also was a thief, too. But they left that out, too. So, I mean, I guess whatever fits the narrative, you know, paves the way because, you know, hey, back then they need to get paid. So they were like, don't tell the truth in this. We need to make some buku dollars, buddy. I mean... It, it, this is a fashion way of certain things. This is the pipe dream. It's a ticket that you get without even knowing that you got the ticket. But you get all the comedies, all the accommodations to all the bullshit. Now, between the bullshit that you get, the accommodations, you kind of have to sift through it all to try to figure out which one's true, which one's not. But I tell you, there's far more bullshit in the accommodations. I mean, you know, one of our presidents, well, probably many of them back in the day, you know, had owned slaves. You know, one in particular owned slaves. And that's been proven, but, you know, not to just say that, you know, I'm just saying some shit. No, it's actually on record. But at the same sense, they tried to hide that. But then that came to light. So, hmm. Yeah, hmm. Just thinking. <laughs> I mean, and we start really trying to delve it. Let's go a couple. Let's go further back. Let's go longer or way back in time. You know, and I'm not trying to touch on the religious aspect on this because I know some people will probably have a little word about this. But um, let's think about this. I mean, I was reading. I saw a video, and the video was talking about that they had found the remnants of the chariots. And the uh, the remnants of the chariots of, you know, when Moses had part of the sea and they, the people that was with him, the followers had went down there and they went there. And then just as like, I guess the, the other people were following them, then he closed it back up. They all got swiped away when he closed it back up and they said they found remnants of it now. I don't know if the story of that is entirely true. Don't know. Don't want to ruffle feathers on that. But there hasn't to this day been any concrete evidence to suggest that there was. So, from this video, it says, hey, we found this as well. Then again, if you're talking over 2,000 years, you know, ago, you know, would that stuff still be somewhat intact? And from the video they showed, it like looked, it looked, oh, it was intact. But would that stuff two thousand years ago, or plus, plus two thousand years ago, would that stuff even still be remotely intact and not corroded or worn away or whatever? I mean, hell, they let us all know growing up for a fact that you know dinosaur bones turn into fucking fossil well di dinosaur bones that are fossilized eventually become you know liquid oil or some shit and that's what we tend to believe because they tell us that i mean and they say it takes over millions of years because the dinosaurs were here you know 36 million years ago you know billions of billions of years ago so you go into kind of thinking, whoa, holy shit. You know, it's that far long ago. Well, it might have to be fucking true. You know, because, hell, no one had a camcorder, but we're just going to base it off this shit. I mean, isn't it inclined, you know, so inclined that maybe some people back in the day just made some shit up to fit their narrative, thus as the cycle continues in today's era? 
where people just uh, kind of make shit up to fit their own narrative, their own spin on things for whatever type of reason, why they want to be able to do the things they want to do. And if you listen to my podcast long enough, it always resorts to what? The almighty dollar dollar billion. I'm telling you, it always does. Um, there's hidden agendas. And I mean, these hidden agendas are absolutely, you know, crazy. And um, not many people, you know, believe in that, you know. And they just are so in tune that, oh, it's a certain way, this and that. It could never be done by the money, the dollar dollar bill money, but it is. It really is. And I want you guys to listen to something that it, it really is. So here, here's a little, little tin for you. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, that's 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 the truth to me. All right. Um. So everything. I that's that's my take on it. I mean, it, there is a hidden agenda to people why they decide to fit a narrative. You know, they make people believe in certain things in order to for that individual or groups to live out their own. Uh, thought process or way of thinking. And uh, frankly, it's always by, I guess, the money. I mean, uh, let's put it this way. Um, many of you probably, you guys have heard of, uh, occults, you know, and what's the, what's the common trend, you know, the saying, you know, be like, oh, yep, don't drink the, yep, don't drink the Kool Aid, you know, and the reason why they say that is because, Back in like the 70s and 80s, you know, religion has a very huge way of uh, influence a lot of people. And uh, certain cult groups can slowly influence people. And then they used to have situations like this where they would tell people what to do and think and how to act in this way. And people would probably somewhat be brainwashed into it and have them so in tune with a certain way of thinking that they would do anything. And then unfortunately, sometimes we end up having a lot of tragic incidents that would happen as a result from this. And I mean, it, it's, I mean, think about it. it. It's, I don't know whether or not a lot of the stuff that's being played is by um, actual belief. I don't, I don't think it's actually about belief. I think it's actual, like, you know, the main person or the group main groups people are doing this as i said before you're just doing it because of fueling by their own greed their own selfishness their own abilities to swindle people i remember i i saw a video where um this preacher was sitting there talking and he was like i can carry you baby i can carry you you gonna make this arthritis let's go away i can surely help you and what he was doing before the, the the fucking sermon and all that stuff when people were coming in they would write down their aliens their problems on prayer cards and then put them in a bucket and then before the show got started or oh, that's what i called the show they had person in the back who would go and read it and they would radio transmission it to the freaking preacher who was doing the whole preaching so then he, when he talked to somebody, he's like, Edna, is Edna here? Well, Edna, I tell you right now, I know there's something wrong with you. You got it wrong with your arthritis, and we're going to help you. And you know what? What the fuck? Like, unfucking believable that people would be this way. But, like I said, men, humans, mankind are corrupt. Like, fuck, man. Like, <sighs> it's just sad. I mean, a lot of the movies, I'm, I'm a big movie go lover, all right? But do you not think that the cinema industry would not have 
a hand in portraying or sometimes influencing the way of certain how things were done back then. I mean, or to get people to slowly buy into their shit. I touched a back basis on this yesterday, like the movie Armageddon. You know, Armageddon, awesome movie. You know, it was an action adventure movie. You know, obviously the you know space people were got their kicks off Route sixty six on this one, and I mean they was like, oh man, look at this, look at all this science in here, man. Look at all this, this all the technology we're flying onto the asteroid. Yeah, man, we're doing it big, man. They're getting their kicks off that, you know. Holy shit, you know. And then you look at uh, uh, you look at the other movie, Deep Impact, same situation. Getting their kicks off it. But then when they want to try to scare us, scare us people, you know, into certain things happening to kind of keep us in line, to make us understand that, hey, uh, space program needs money. We need you to uh, 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 contribute unknowingly. Then you come out with fucking movies like Alien. Let everybody know in the near future, this little fucking nasty little alien is going to fuck you up, you know, or you're going to have a fucking alien that comes down here and hunts people for no fucking apparent reason because they're just an immaculate hunter and they're you know their name's going to be called the predator they're just going to fuck us up for whatever reason because they're selfish assholes i guess or you know we're just going to have a whole alien invasion and it's going to happen on well whole alien invasion is going to happen and we're going to fight back and claim our independence day you know um just some shit like that you know Little tedious things, these movies. Or here's a better one. We're going to have where these aliens are, you know, they're coming here. But apparently they just don't, they can't take water. Water is bad for them. But they're going to come to a planet that's pretty much 75% covered in fucking water, you know, just to do what? I don't know. Be an asshole. Come here and say, hey, what's going on? But we're going to fuck you up too and just fuck everybody up. Yeah, I don't understand that one. That's another topic of discussion. I mean, it, it's there's a lot of stuff that point, paints a picture to like they're showing certain stuff that just to try to keep you in line. Now, hear me out. Like, I mean, it happens all the time. I mean, then they have other movies where they try to slip the aliens in the back door without people noticing, and then try to do it that way, but. Having like like the movie The Faculty, love it. Movie The Faculty, it's kind of a hip high school thing. Came out in like ninety nine or ninety eight, one of the two. I think it's ninety nine. Um, where these aliens were kind of doing like the body snatcher thing. They were kind of you know getting put in the people, and then next up from one to one to another, another then another, 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 another people there, and then eventually these group of kids had to figure out a way to devise a plan in order to fucking you know uh stop the aliens from spreading so quickly but then on the high side of that the way they stopped it was i guess the local drug dealer in the movie the, you know was like take this fucking you know shit that i've been making some aspirin whatever and uh you know it kills it off because you know it die you know dilutes the fucking alien i what the what the fuck you know <laughs> you know it's just so mundane on some of this stuff, but trust me, it tries to keep people in check to say, think, there's there's other life forms out there that will come here and fuck us up. You know, the whole balloon incident. You know, now they're seeing sightings all over the fucking world and people just just getting more in tune to the more bullshit. Uh, you know, as I'd had said in my other previous cast, you know, somebody selling wolf tickets. I don't know. Somebody's selling wolf tickets to the, and they're trying to get you to get the front class row in the movie, the pipe dream. So that in itself is uh, something that is, I don't know. I mean, I pulled up here where it says Bigfoot, UFOs, and more. So let's look at this and get, let's see here. Now, this map does exist. Um, they're showing sightings of Bigfoot. You don't ask me why. Um, but apparently Bigfoot travels a lot. He's uh, it's just, I don't know where he takes I-95, you know, to where he's going. But uh, just 
see what his deal is. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I'm looking here. This is on the one on the East Coast. It's Bigfoot with baby seen in swamp. Yep, this is not. I'm not bullshitting you. I'm telling the truth. It said in 1972, while going fishing, witness sees big female Bigfoot with baby in a swamp. Well, well, okay. Listen to witness interview. What the fuck, man? Like. <sighs> See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm just gonna. This is two different things. And it's like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I, I don't know where this stuff comes. Yeah. And, and you're listening to my podcast, and somebody's just, he's crazy. Yeah, but I'm telling you what these other people have so called claimed to see. Now, I'm not saying that there's some strange shit out there. But what I am saying that there's a lot of people that will make up some strange shit just to gain some type of uh, reputation for whatever reason that they try to do this shit. All right. That's what I am saying. So let's see if there's any aliens. Let's see here. Uh, UFO near rainbow. Yeah, okay. Okay. It says 2016 man takes photo of rainbow, but a possible UFO is in the picture. What the fuck? <laughs> Put a possible UFOs in the picture. Damn. Fucking UFO and fucked up your fucking photography fucking thing. Uh, they got more Bigfoots in there. I don't know. You know, Bigfoot travels. I mean, he's been traveling. I guess he's backpacking, I guess. Uh, so this one is another Bigfoot on the East Coast. Um, Bigfoot seen twice. Okay, he's seen twice. Okay, summer nineteen sixty five. Three boys out spotlighting animals see a black Bigfoot. So Bigfoot, I guess they have black Bigfoots, brown Bigfoots, white Bigfoots. So I guess Bigfoot comes in different races. You know, probably size and shape too. The creature is seen again a few nights later. Real. Yeah. I guess Bigfoot pitched a tent, you know, setting up for the night, whatever. Let's go on some more Bigfoot. Oh, oh, look at this one. Oh, it's on the cross. Oh, yeah, we're seeing more hair. Um, <clears throat> let's see. This this one is just recently. So Bigfoot crosses the road. Yep. Mm -hmm. This is exciting. Now it says, okay, here it is. February eighth, two thousand and twenty. So we're getting close. So Bigfoot's still active in the two, in the two thousand. Just recently, two years ago, during COVID, by all fucking chances, right? So, uh, driver has Bigfoot cross road in front of him. So Bigfoot was crossing the road. Yep, he's crossing the road. Don't know why, but I guess he was crossing the road for some odd reason. Um, hmm. don't know why. Gonna go back to UFO. Three UFOs filmed. It's 2013. Uh, some guy named Chris Lights films. Two UFOs near his home in Virginia. So, Bigfoot, Bigfoot, aliens. Now, question. It says, unknown large creature. 2010, large unknown creature seen with odd legs. I don't know. You know, and there's just you can look on you you can look on Google, you know you can check this out for yourself. You can see, you know, the UFO sightings, the Bigfoot sightings, and I'm looking on here. And it seems like Bigfoot definitely gets around. I mean, this dude is like fucking just he backpacking and he is like on the move. I mean, apparently there, there's no sightings of Bigfoot in Utah. I don't know or Arizona. I mean, maybe it's too damn hot, and Bigfoot's like, I'm not dealing with that shit, you know? And, uh, you know, the funny part is, I'm looking out here as far as, like, UFOs and the Midwest. And in Nevada, they just have one down by Las Vegas. Not that fucking many. I guess it's just too desert. But Los Angeles, California, Southern California, oh, man, they got tons of them, right? Really? I guess they're going to have tons of, you know, aliens down in California so everybody can make it big so they can break into Hollywood, you know? So, pfft, that's a fucking joke. Like, 
I'm like, oh, you know, and we're just gonna gonna slide here and check out the European side and see what they have. Well, you know what? I guess Bigfoot does make itself a way, you know, across the fucking Atlantic Ocean. You know, apparently Bigfoot is a stowaway, and so is aliens too. So let's see, I'm gonna go to here, United Kingdom. 1980 or 81, they can't make up their mind. Bigfoot in Scotland. Young girl and her dog encountered possible Bigfoot. Um, the area was heavily forested at the time, but now it's been cleared for farming. So, hmm. oh, well, I don't know about that one. Shit. Oh, here's England. Let's check it out. Oh, large fireball UFO. Somewhere between 1997 and 2000. Well, they can't make out. What fucking year, but it's going to go with the ballpark figure. It's just going to make everybody feel a little bit more better. And it says, large fireball UFO. Two boys see very large fireball UFO. They don't really describe it. I have to go in more detail to watch these videos and read these articles just to kind of figure out what the nonsense is. But, you know, hey. Who am I to disagree? I travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Yeah, everybody is looking for something. Don't know. And this have an unknown part, and this is an unknown also in England. England, help me. So this is an unknown humanoid. This is December 8th, 2021. Man, for, man photographs odd creature eating a fish. Man photographs odd creature eating fish. Is it cooked? Was it cooked or was it was it eaten raw? I mean, if a man, if somebody, if a creature is eating it raw, then that needs to be reported. I mean, how dare you not cook fish? You know, shit. You don't even scale it. <laughs> you, you might be a fucking humanoid. Yeah, yeah, you definitely are. So, I mean, and I'm trying to see if there's any other ones um, across the well, world. France is one. Let's see what France has. Okay, France. Possible UFO 523-2014. While taking a picture of the sunset, a photographer... Caught a possible UFO. Doesn't really elaborate. I gotta read more in depth in this. Uh, it's, but it's 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 pretty weird because I got this map up here and uh, it's showing a lot of stuff as far as location wise, you know. But you know, we're looking in the. I guess I'm looking over this map. Uh, da -da -da -da. I guess the uh, the Middle East. They don't encounter Bigfoot or UFOs, so they can care less. Uh, China, too, they don't give a damn about Bigfoot. But even though they have Bigfoot sightings, which they call it the Yeti, up in the Himalayan mountains, um, maybe it's not been updated. Maybe that, that's right. Maybe that's why. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We've got something here in Sydney. So let's just see what this is. Uh, let's see. Possible Yoe track and hair sample. What the fuck? Let me see. December 29, 2014. A Jack Carrier finds possible track in a hair sample. I'm guessing they might be talking about Bigfoot. Or something. But if so, Bigfoot definitely made its way over to, uh, you know, uh, South Wales, Australia. Uh, does get around. Does get around. I mean... What to do? What to do? I mean, the pipe dream, ladies and gentlemen, the pipe dream. It's out there. It's vast. It's all around you. And, uh, God damn it, ladies and gentlemen. I just, but you know what? I love bringing this stuff to you so that way you guys can understand so that you guys cannot be fooled by the dumbness that happens. Okay? Like, literally. I mean, I guess it's a way to keep people in uh, some type of state of control because that's the only way I can understand. I can kind of delve into it with some way of trying to come up with some reasoning behind it. 
I mean, you have, think about it. You can keep people afraid of something, you're keeping them in check. I mean, there was a story, and I think it's a religious content story too, that before our own civilization, there was a much more advanced civilization than us. Um, so apparently this advanced civilization before us, it apparently was so smart in every way. Everybody worked together, and everybody could talk the same language. And they apparently was wanted to talk to God. So they built a staircase all the way out into the cosmos to go talk to God. And the way God played it out, God was like, oh, okay, well, if you guys are going to do that, I'm going to ensure that you guys are going to have to figure a way out to do so without having to work together. But you'll eventually figure it out once you guys all work together. And so God changed everything. Changed how they talk, changed their own languages, so that way they couldn't understand. And then once they did that, and everybody spoke different languages, people started to go in their own separate directions, and thus could you loom, here we are, thousands of years later, and obviously, you know, I guess not working together, not as advanced as much as we think we are. I mean, who knows? I mean, it just sometimes fascinates to where are we at as a civilization? I mean, we've done some great, amazing feats. I mean, the space shuttle program, I talked about that. I love the space shuttle program. I just think it's bullshit how they just fucking canned it. So, you know, had a fucking spaceship. We fucking just said, you know what, it is what it is. I mean, I mean, that, I'd, you know, put some funding into that. But now we're using a Russian Soyuz rocket to get our astronauts up there. So we're leasing a fucking Soyuz Russian rocket? Really? Doesn't make any fucking sense. I don't get it. But telling you, man, they will let you believe their bullshit and they'll pass it to you if you're not willing to delve into the understanding of sh things like comets. I, I fuck comets. You know, they, it's a big chunk of ice and dust that's somehow hurtling through the fucking you know, universe because it's just an asshole and it's pissed off. What? what the fuck? And that any moment it could hit us. They want us to be afraid and scared. I mean, I don't get it. It's it's weird. It really is. I mean, several years ago, people started talking about this flat earth. The flat earth has gotten moving really good. And <coughs> I mean, the government, even the president, <coughs> foreign president came out and told us that we don't have time to have a meeting with the flat earth society. And I'm just kind of thinking, in the retrospect, if you happen to bring that up and say that, there's means there's some serious shit going on. I mean, why would the government, if they were known that that's not true, why in the world would they even remotely want to talk about it? You know, that's my thinking about it. Why is it such a big deal that they have to bring it up? You know? <laughs> or Google sometimes would try to hide it by not, you know, putting it in their, you know, algorithm, so to speak. I don't know. That's it. But we've come to another end of a great episode here on the Cools of the Cool, the Cooly Cool Show with your host, Brent. I appreciate each and every one of you for listening. Oh, to you. Awesome. So, but like I said, if you haven't followed already, be sure to follow, like, and subscribe to my other social media platforms. Follow me on my YouTube channel, take that channel, both of them, Cooly Cool Show. You can also follow me on my Instagram page at Brent underscore the champ. You can also follow me on my Twitter account. Cooly cool 2412. You can also, if you miss any parts of the episode and you want to hear it again, because I want you to listen again, you can go on to Spreaker.com or Spotify, iHeartRadio, or Google Podcasts, and listen to the, you know, latest episodes that I post. So, <sighs> well, unlike uh, everyone else, I'm I've got my tickets. Do you, everybody have their tickets for the pipe dream? Okay, we're we're good. Okay, I got you. Got yours. If you need a spare one, I'll get you an extra one. All right. So, you're already here live on the coolest of the cool, the coolly cool show with your host Brent. So, take care and bye.